Hey everyone, welcome to Tabletop Giant again. Um, we're doing good on our singles, so uh, we're gonna open up another box for the store here. Uh, let's see where we end up. So we're gonna open up another set booster. A uh, lot of kind of negative attention, the media and the community. Uh, people balking at the price point, but I still feel uh, the product in these boxes is going to enhance uh, any existing commander deck and then certainly help in the making of any new commander decks. So um, I think it's still a great product in time. I think it'll uh, show, I mean, the product might sell slowly because of the price point, but I think it's going to, uh, you know, be one of those packages we look back on a, a year later. Um, I think everybody's going to feel real comfortable with it and uh, see it as a desirable product. Um, I know, I don't know if it's still true, but some of the art cards in the set, just because we're going to be seeing the art cards, uh, are up in money. A lot of people like to use them as tokens or say that was your commander. Um, you could have them in the command zone, the slime foot, if once everybody knows what his abilities are. Um, so let's go through here. There's a Stonehoof Chieftain. He's good money. Flawless Maneuver, good hit. And Heliod. Now there's a triple play that it's going to be hard for anyone to argue with that those are three big hits. Flawless Maneuver and Heliod, uh, maybe to a lesser Stonehoof, but great. And there's a Regal Behemoth. What a nice pack. I could live without seeing Ramirez Di Pietro. But uh, a Vandal Blast in the Uncommon slot, huge. Rampaging Brontodon, Beanstalk. Prismatic Lens, very playable. Prism, very playable. There's a Elvish Mystic. And then there's our Retro Foil Land. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll try not to hammer through too quick, but... Uh, for those who haven't seen it yet, I'm sure everybody has, so we're not going to spend too much time on the stuff. There's Miri, I believe. We've got a token. Thriving Heath for our land. Common. Finale of Devastation, <laughs> a huge hit. I love Mangira as a blue player. I, I put him in all white decks. He's so great. Um, wow, I haven't seen this one yet. A Balefire Dragon, full art. Wow, that's beautiful. <clears throat> Look at those flames going into the text box. That looks really nice. Sorry for the thumbs. There we go. Nice hit. Piana, Raph, Hunters, Insight, Furious Rise. Then we got the Generous Gift, Spike Shot Gob, Dragon Fodder, Feed the Swarm, Explorer Scope. We've got Kemba. That one's not worth anything and a non-foil uh, retro land. So I'm feeling good if, uh, if I had bought this product at my LGS, um, I think I'd feel good about those if I opened, what is that, three packs in? That was only two packs. There's a list card, old Ghast Bark. Uh, Tamir Battle Rage and Foil, that's a nice hit. Avatar of Slaughter for red. Tidemaker, Baird. So this one, not as hot as the previous packs with regards to getting more Mythics and Rares. Let's see what the back holds for us. Let's go through our comments here. Foundry Inspector's great. So this stuff, I can't keep it on the shelf. People buying up these 50 cent, $1 commons. First time a lot of these have had uh, full art treatment. They're just replacing all their commander decks with these. The price point's so good. So uh, that's great. There's our Island Foil Retro Land. And there's your Az Azusa. So like I said, some players might choose to play her in their command zone. So some of these art cards are, are going for quite a bit. Um, and, and some of them get played as tokens, like any generic dragon art. You know, you can use that as your dragon token. Uh, people seem to really like the art in this one. Uh, so there's an Eldrazi spawn. We've got a Hellkite Charger and Foil Rare. Nice hit. This is turning out to be a pretty good pack, I think. Ah, nice. These medallions are so hot, so usable in any deck that has the color it drives. Sapphire medallion. Decree of Pain. I know that one's not worth a lot, but playable. Jazzy gold main. We're into our uncommons now. Coveted peacock. Spectral grasp. The good old counter spell. Get into the commons here. Mirror sire, mirror smith, farmine vessel. Return to Dust and a non-foil retro. And there's a, ooh, what is that? It looks like Eldrazi. If that betrays. 
big Eldrazi art card. So yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys have put in your decks to enhance them. Um, so there's nice sea of clouds. So for commander play, enters uh, tapped unless they have two or more opponents. So typically in commander, you're playing in four player pods. Even in three, you're okay. Great utility card, great land. Ether Gale, that's an uncommon foil. Reclamation. Psy Master Thopter, Judith. Hey, there's uh, Shiri Shizo's Caretaker. I just made a commander deck with him because of the full art. I kind of went all in and, and uh, made him. So I'm testing it out right now. Looks like it's running pretty good. There's a Tragic Slip, Commander Sphere, very usable, Command Tower, Path to Ancestry, and there's the full art Command Tower. I'm sure you've seen it a million times. Great in foil with that rainbow. Um, so there's another nice uh, hit. So I think the value's here. I think these ones obviously cost a lot more just because of the sheer volume of cards versus a, a commander pack. Which way do we look at him this way, right? So there's another example if you're running Maelstrom Wanderer. Maybe you'd want to put him in your command zone if everybody knows what he does. All the tokens in this set are double-sided, by the way. There's a Lens and Foil. Nice hit. Obscuring Haze. So if you have a commander, you get to play it without paying its mana cost. It's a fog. There's a free fog for green when you're playing commander. There's Arachnogenesis, big hit. I think it might level out a little bit, but uh, uh, this has only been printed a couple times, so uh, everyone's hot for that. Deathkeeper. And we've got Tua, Wildwood Scourge, Predatory Rampage. Ram Through is very playable. There's old Gregadon. Deadly Recuse, Deep Analysis, a Frantic Search Full Art. So I find in these uh, set boosters, the full art uh, tend to be the common and uncommon full arts. It's harder to get a uh, you know rare mythic full art. We've got an Eldrazi Drake token. Um, oh, there's a signed card. I think that one's worth a little bit of money. So there you go. Treasure Nabber by Pete. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what we got. We got an uncommon foil. Deflecting SWAT. Huge hit. Cranko. Lots of goblin guys love running Cranko. Yahani. All this stuff's playable. I like this set. Don't let the negative uh, media get you down. I know the price point's high, but these are all great cards. Very usable. Surprised we haven't seen more list cards yet, but uh, sometimes list cards just fill a slot and they're not great. Anyway, and there's a Factor Fiction. Like I said, a lot of the full arts are going to be your common and uncommons. There we go. Return to Dust, Full Art. Eldrazi Spawn Elemental. Makeshift Munitions is our foil common. Wow, Immortal Sun. Love this, any tribal. Uh, it doesn't even need to be in tribal, does it? You don't have to name a creature type. Huge card. Inspiring Sanctuary, there's a couple big artifact hits. Awakening Sun's Avatar, he's okay. A Brood Tyrant, looks like he's a miller. You make zombies and uh, for a mill deck. Slimefoot, Armorcraft Judge, Fencing Ace, Metroidic Mace. Bit of rhyming there. Uh, and we'll go through the commons quick. Another common full art. Again, very playable though. A lot of people are placing their regular ones in their decks. So we're a third of the way through, guys. Hope you're enjoying the show. Um, yeah, we'll keep posting content as long as everyone likes it. Subscribe if you like what you see. Um, sorry, there's an insurrection full art. The uh, art card, I should say. There's a Dwarven Grunt. Not a great hit for the list. But we get uh, rewarded for it with two great cards. So there's... Azami, Lady of the Scrolls, her portrait, foil, and a pearl medallion. I approve as a white player. Needs to go in every deck that runs those colors, pearl medallion. These medallions are great. I'm glad they reprinted them. Magus of the Wheel, Heartless Hadishu. Got some lands in our uncommon slots. Let's go through the commons quick here. There's great in human decks. Another frantic search for a full art. 
and our retro land. All right, there's your elf that taps for mana. So I don't know, it depends on your playgroup if they would decide it's legal to put in your deck, but at the very least, like I said, guys using them as tokens and in the command zone. I think most uh, groups are casual. Hammer, great in artifact, equipped decks, great card. Obnixless, you can be your commander. That's hot. Moon Kraken, Valcut, Rogue's Passage, Warmonger. Let's get through our commons. Actually, I might put that in my uh, Shizo deck that I was saying. We'll leave that one aside for uh, for old Greg. Um, some commons. A Felwar Stone for your Mana Rocks. That's a great hit. I don't think we've got a... Uh, I guess the portrait was... Oh, there's a cool... Now, see, I would, I would, and I would be okay with someone using that in a zombie deck as a zombie token. So these art cards play well, I think, for that reason. Enjoy that zombie. What's that from? Loyal Subordinate. And it's stamped with the uh, token. We got a dragon egg. There's uh, Tishar. That's a great hit. Foil. Kindred Dominance. Or black destroy all creatures except for the chosen type champion's helm well i've seen the full art of this i haven't seen his uh, reprint of the original art yeah hex proof of legendary equip one that's nice protect your commander talaran we can see how there's a full art spectator seating that's a big hit good old danitha i like her fungal plots go through the comments here gutter snipe there's two full arts for us. Command Tower and Nightblade. And we've got a foil retro. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see different commentary. What would make the channel better for you? Another example of these art cards. You want a sliver token? You got one. Okay. So um, I think they're very useful. Dragon token. A Tusker used to be great. Well, I think it's from the Mirrodin block. It was a great card back in the day. Not as good now. Uh, Freilis, Wretched Confluence. Wow. Wow. Woohoo. If I had a bell, I'd ding it. Full Art Deflecting Swat. Great, great card in your red decks. And there's a comma. Full Art. Not foil, not textured, but great hit. So, again... A lot of guys run this guy as their commander. Why not upgrade him into this art, right? A lot of people would do that. So let's put those in the full art piles. Got excited there. Hamza, Sabria. Okay, Victimize, Gormand. Those are our uncommons. Champion of Flame, Fists of Flame, Sulfuric Blast, Tempur Battle Mage, Faithless Looting again, and a Retro. So yeah, any cards you see here that I'm opening, guys, uh, check the channel and um, Path to Exile. Um, and they should be available for sale by the end of the day. I haven't seen that close enough yet. It's kind of confusing artwork, but dude's definitely getting exiled. Looks like Kodoma, like a Kamigawa block type art there. Treasure Spider, Vial of Dragonfire, Steel Shaper's Gift, very playable card. Search for Equipment in White, Torrential Gearhawk, used to be great in Standard. Oh, there's a comic and come and see us in his normal presentation. So just like I was saying, so if I'm running him in Commander, that's my normal Commander. I see this, I come to my playgroup with that, that really zings, right? A lot of people would want to upgrade, so... Um, Perfect example there. Okay, some uncommons. Please the blood right. And then our, there's Kodoma's Reach. There's the Elvish Mystic and his normal. Thran Dynamo. Let's put that in our deck. Replace our Thran Dynamo we have. Retro Swamp. <sighs> All right, what do we got for art? We've got an angel. So again, I'm running angels, which I do. I have an angel deck. That would be a great angel token. I think my playgroup would respect that and allow that to come into play as a token. 
Oh, something went flying there. Sorry, guys. It's a Commander Sphere Full Art Foil. So only a common, but again, Full Art. You want to bling out your Commander deck. There's a nice viable option. Cheap enough. Twilight Prophet. Huge card. You get that in foil. It's a big hit. Um, yeah, he's very nice. Braids. Nice rare. Padim, Akiri, Heartless Act. That's great removal for black. Panth Pathraiser for your Eldrazi. Final Parting. Ministrant of Obligation, the Afterlife 2. I used to run that in standard. Woo! <clears throat> oh, cool. In the same box, same pack, sorry, we got another copy of non foil of Commander Sphere. Uh, test my knowledge, G Goro, Gosro, Godo, close, there's Godo on his, I'm going to go Yak maybe, what do you guys think he's riding? Alright, let's flip this around, so we've got Oath of Scholars for our Lifts card, during each player's upkeep, but that player has fewer cards in hand than another opponent, I guess you choose when it comes into play, uh, that player may discard their hand and draw three. Oh, you'd probably choose yourself. That's nice. Anytime anybody gets more cards in hand than me, I fill up. Uh, Rogue's Passage and Foil, an uncommon for us. Rejuvenating Springs, here's our dual lands in the set. Very playable. Omnath. There's a nice... The art on these original cards is sometimes just as nice. So there's a nice Mythic hit. Ariel for your Night Decks. Dark Steel Mutation, I've talked about that enough on all my other channels. Great uh, commander removal. It doesn't remove it, it replaces it. So they can't get their commander out again. And this one's tough because it makes it a 0-1 indestructible insect. So it's hard just to lose it. They have to go for some sort of removal, uh, like Exile. Uh, so that's a great card. Just in case it's your first video, I don't want to keep talking about it. Dread Return, great card. There's a foil retro mountain. Hey guys, when I finish this pack, we're two-thirds of the way through. Sorry for the long video. There's your deep analysis. Urza checking things out. That's not Urza. Nice art. This Thrall token kills me. I love this artwork. Uh, Wind Rider Wizard is a common foil. Augury, Life Blood Hydra. There's Grenzo. He's available in the portrait if we see him. Eternal Witness, very playable. Animal Magnetism for our uncommons. Look at all this land fetching. Destroy Flyers, land fetch. Path to Exile, full art. And a retro. That pack wasn't super hot. There's an Arcane Signet. That might be a bit of a stretch to put in my deck, but I don't know. That could be a proxy, couldn't it? Eldrazi Dragon Token. There's a Grove Guardian. Uncommon. Tooth and Nail. Cheat some stuff out. Hellkite Charger. Ooh! Another Ur Dragon. Original Art. Reprint. Ghoul Caller Jiza. Cabal Patriarch, Path to Exile, Return to Dust. Look at White, taking care of business. Look at, wow. <laughs> All the thriving. That, geez, that's the thriving pack. Grove, Bluff, and Isle, and Moor. Holy crow. There's a lot of thriving lands. Letter of Acceptance. All that glitters is our full art common and our retro land non foil swamp. There's an elf for you. Sky Shroud Claim. A glittering stockpile from uh, Streets of Capanna. Um, pretty good. The treasure, I think, it makes treasures. No, it just makes straight mana. So there's a list card. Weird. Reprinted already. Archfiend of Despair. One of the big cards in the set. Got him a few times. Very nice hit. There's a mythic. Yenit, 
if you like sphinxes. Never seen anyone really run or create a good uh, sphinx tribal. Kind of tough. They're expensive. Um, Accentuate. Grove Guardian. Extinguish All Hope. Corpse Augur. And we're into our commons. Snakeskin Veil's great. Myriad Landscape. Replace that in your deck. There's an uncommon full art. And a retro land. Okay, guys, down to the last five or six packs here. Thanks for watching. Decree of Pain is the art card. Hope you're enjoying the channel. We'll keep stuff coming for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. There's a training center, dual art hit, chainer, tabarax, uncommon. There's gore claw, factor fiction, body double. Get through the commons, all that glitters in the common slot, path of ancestry. And ooh, that's a nice looking swamp foil, retro. So yeah, communicate with me in the in the comments. There's accentuate art card, a bird dwarf token. There's Nahiri, a plains uh, planeswalker for you in foil. Go white. Love my white decks. Vindictive Lich. That's kind of cool. Chromatic Lantern, super playable. Rafik of the many. We get into uncommons here. Whisper Blood. I'm running him. <clears throat> Pull on Blade Druid. Blade. Counterspell. There's the full art. And a retro island. All right, guys. There's our art card. Yakuro. As long as you know what she does, throw in your command zone. There's a clue token with an elemental. <clears throat> Staunch Throne Guard. Common foil. Emerald. So we get three different medallions so far. Maybe four. I lost track. Love hitting those. Soar of Discord. The Nahirian non foil now. Teshar. Playable. Ashnod's Altar. Very playable. Some land searching. Good way uh, in a black deck to get, uh, de uh, you know, obviously she has 1-3 death touch, but you get to be the monarch as soon as she enters. Arcane Signet. Full art. Replace that. I know it's in all your commander decks. Oh, nice. Is that Roy Spears? Nice uh, foiled extra planner lens with the foiled signature. I wonder what planes we're going to there. I, I see Streets and, and Aquaria maybe. I don't know. Maybe is that first one. Streets of New Capanna. That looks like a... Oh, that's a Kaldheim maybe. The tree. That's streets again? I don't know. I'll have to look up the lore on that. See what planes we're, we're looking through in the portals there. Okay. Gaia's Revenge. I don't think it's worth a lot. There's our list card. Got Demon's Disciple. Foil Common. Sword of Animus, I mean, if you want to fetch land in your commander deck, great uh, artifact. Song of the Dryads, another way to take care of your opponent's commander. You just, that permanent becomes a forest land. So that one's tough to get rid of. Destroy the enchantment or destroy the land, which a lot of you don't run, especially destroying your own. Tesa, great commander. Ethergale, Rishar, Rice from the Tides, on common slots. Commons, generous gift. There's the big elephant. We zoomed in on him. This uh, shop owner's a little distressed. Having an elephant run through his bookstore, it looks like. Ooh, there he is. That's one of my favorite profile arts. His face just awesome. Macaeus. Mm. Oh, I put that one in the wrong pile. All right. Second last pack. Thanks for watching, guys. There's a Teffy uh, emblem. Slice and Dice. Great card in red. I recommend that. In the, I mean, you can't have everything in every deck. Boom Pile. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, reset the board. Except for lands. Good old Rankle. Gaunty. 
Banished Heart, or Burnished, I should say. Cartographer's Heart. Lots of land fetching. Exenguate in full art. And there's a Mountain Retro Non-Foil. I mean, multiplayer games, that's a mandatory card in black. <sighs> Keep to be reprieve myself, bit of a broken record, but uh, there's that Dark Steel Mutation. There's the bug. That one's a little busy. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that artwork altogether, but. So we got a Clue and a Seder. Reliquary Tower, Full Art Foil. Throw that in your favorite commander deck. Replace your existing tower. Fairy Artisans. Pure Steel Paladin. Dorati, he's not worth much, but there it is. Uncommons. Stormkin uh, Artist is worth a little bit. Of course, he makes treasures whenever you cast a cop. Whenever you cast or copy Insular Sorcerer. Insular Sorcerers make treasures. That's huge. Uh, that's our Uncommons. Ulamog's Crusher. Brass Knuckles. Dark Steel Ignit. Indestructible Landmaker. Volshuk Battle Gear. Haunted Cloak. Kodoma's Reach if you want to look for some lands. And there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. TabletopGiant.ca. We'd love to help you out. Free shipping when you spend more than 10 bucks on singles. Uh, take care. Enjoy the hobby. Uh, go ahead and support your LGS. A lot of them are, are kind of getting backstocked on these set boosters. Uh, I'm sure we'd all love some help. Take care, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye.